Okay, in this video I just want to do a little bit about helping explain how to program the ESC that comes in the Stingray. You shouldn't need to program anything the way it comes. You shouldn't have to touch it. It should just work. As long as you set up the TG Multi, when you plug this in, it should just work. Uh, but if for some reason you want to use the ESC for something else, some other application, or for some other reason there's a reason to change it, um, I just, we wanted to give you some of the details of how you program this in case that just happens to arise. If you call us and we tell you you need to reprogram it, we want to give you the option of how to reprogram it. Uh, there's a uh, detailed instructions sheet online. You can download it and look at it. The main thing we wanted to explain here is just let you hear how the beep in the menu system functions. There are two menu systems. It's the main menu system that lets you select between the program. Main menu system lets you select between the main program items. And then when you're within a program item, there is the selections you can select in that item. The only part that's slightly confusing is the beeps that are used in the main menu are identical to the beeps that are used when you're within an item. They simply replace, say you're looking at item number one, they replace that with one beep. Item number two is two beeps. Item number three is three beeps. That's true whether you're in the main menu or you're in the program item menu. So try not to confuse that. And in every case, when you're on an item, it will do its tone four times. So your, your number one item will go beep, 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 beep. It'll do four times. Then it goes to the next item. And um, to select, uh, well, let's get in and actually show you. To get into the menu, you want to turn on your transmitter, go to high throttle. This is after everything's already set up, so you know this is actually, actually is high throttle. And you turn the model on. When the ESC sees high throttle, it's going to a dual beat. That's it does that double beat four times to indicate that it, it sees it's in program menu. Now it's in the single beep mode telling you it's it's ready to set brake type if you want to. Now it's in the double beep. It's going to do that four times. This is for your battery type. It's going to keep going through the modes and then now it's going to do the three beeps. That's item number three which is cutoff voltage threshold. Now it's on the 4, which is restore factor defaults, which on the Stingray you wouldn't use that. The factor defaults are incorrect for the Stingray. Now it should be on to the one long beep. That's one long beep, that's motor timing. Let's just set that. Let's say I want to change motor timing, and I'll go to low throttle. Then that tone means you're now in that item. See, now it's doing a single beep four times. But that's to tell you that's for the number 5, which is the motor timing. That's the auto. Now it's a double beep, which is 2 degrees in motor timing. Now it's the three beeps, which is eight degrees. Now it's still on eight degrees. Now it's four, which is 15 degrees. Let's just say I wanted to use 15 degrees. I now go to high throttle. It's indicating it took it. And now it's back to the main menu beeps, which is your number six item, which is a two beep, which is a long beep and a short beep, which is your voltage output. See how it goes between them. Now, again, the only reason it's the only way in my view it's a little confusing is the beeps they use for the main menu is the same as the beeps they use for the item menu. Okay, another example I want to give you here has to do with the startup strength of the ESC when you're spooling it up. Uh, in some cases, either the belt's tight or it's cold or whatever, it may not start up as easily, and these tend to get stuck on startup. You can go into ESC, get into a probing, programming menu, and I'm in the main menu right now. We'll go down to the ninth item, which is startup strength. We're going to listen to one long beep, listen for one long beep and four short beeps. Right now we're on one long beep and two short, which is governor mode. We're still in governor mode. Now that's one long and three short beeps, which is motor rotation direction. Now we've got to let it go through three more times until it gets to the one long and four short beeps. Now it's on four, so now I can lower the throttle. Now it's in the mode, it's actually within the program item now, and it's doing a single beep four times, which is 10%. Now it's doing the dual beep four times, which is 15%. Default is 30%. So I'm going to go, let's say, 45% uh, for startup speed, you know, assuming this was too slow. Right now we're at the three beeps, which is 20%. Now we're at four beeps, which is 25%. When it gets to a long beep, we're at default, which is 30%. That's default 
Now we're getting to 35%, which is one long and one short. See, that's 35%. 40% is one long and two short. That's 40%, I should say, is two short. We're going to set it at 45%, which is one long and three short. Let's see. That's two short. One long. That's three short. So that's 45%, which I want. So I go ahead and raise throttle. And it's set now. It's set. Now it's gotten you back into the main menu, and it's doing two long beeps, which is your low voltage cutoff type, which I don't want to set. I don't need to set. I've already set what I wanted to set, so all I do is unplug it. And now it's set. That's about it. Again, you shouldn't really need to, to program the ESC. It comes all pre-set up. We wanted to show you the basics of how you use it if you decide you want to. The main instructions, again, are on paper. This is just a quick overview of how the beeps function.